What's going on, guys? We've got a AKA Sidewinder to rebuild. Special little ammo top goes on this. Naughty Dog SF5. Sorry, FS5. So this is all unbroken. So we're gonna have some fun with this one today. <clears throat> Might be some cuts as I grunt and groan. But that is the life, isn't it? I'm gonna start by pulling off this fitting because I know we're gonna have to hit it with some heat. So we got kind of three sections to these guys. Three, four, however you want to look at it. You got the top bonnet, you got the uh, middle portion that holds the piston up top, and your little brass piece under here, and then the bottom portion which, which houses your rotating collar and your rig seat. So um, we are going to get the strap wrench out. Not very much to this guy. You got uh, just the two O-rings. Your piston must be. It must have been a while. <laughs> um, so this collar comes off to be able to remove the O-rings for the swivel portion. But while it's Loctited, while this nut is Loctited, you can use it to remove the lower portion from the body. which means we won't have to hit it with any heat, but this thing doesn't need rebuilt. It is dry, 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 dry. It is dry. So something you don't want to do is put it on the adjuster here and try and back it out. Um, Cause you're just going to screw up the threads in there. What you want to do is get your strap wrench out again. That's kind of being a pain. this with a little heat. Try again. Gosh. <laughs> Square. Whoa, what was that? It's just alcohol. Okay. Um, whew, I'm like sweating over here. We, okay, here's our uh, four-ish sections that I was talking about. Let's remove the um, piston. Here's your brass washer it sits in there. Kind of holds the piston stem O-ring in place. Here's your piston with your Belleville washer stack. This is now almost empty. Actually, let's not start removing the rings yet. Let's pull out the seat. Like I said, this drives all the way up and out. Yep, looks like somebody tried to remove it by just driving out the... <sighs> or turning this out. So, it doesn't work. Let's rip 
play some O-rings. So we got a number 15 on the top here. 015. This is a 017. Number 17. Being just careful of our Hanno. <laughs> I always am. I always try to be. Pull off our shims. This is a 113. Remove that guy. That guy's a square now. That should be a 008. Yep. Drop that down in there, just kind of push it in. Let's move on to this one here. We've got another 117, or excuse me, 017. Yep, that's it. And then we've got two, uh, I believe, number 10s, but we will find out. number 10s. The seat looks good. We're not going to touch it. Then we'll pick these out of here. These are our last 117s. Excuse me, 017s. So no real difficult O-rings to change on these. Um, that was uh, cemented in place, though it felt like. Let's get our rag out here. Make sure that piston system is good. Put our washer stack back on. What is the stack orientation? The outside washers are facing that, that way. Let's put our brass disc back in there. Let's lube up these guys. We'll put the adjuster back in the body. Let's drop that in. What you kind of need to do is hold even pressure here so the threads can catch and catch correctly. There we go. I want to bring it just before flush. Should be 200-ish. These all, these have a very they, they're adjusted in very small increments, so we'll definitely uh, gauge that before we put it back on the gun. Check for creep. Creep is when you have air leaking past the system. 
and pressure increases in your gun, which is not good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a touch of blue Loctite on there. Nothing horrendous. If I can remember where I put it. There it is. We're not gonna go all the way around. That's it. This doesn't need to be tight, but it does need to be cinched down. I'd almost call this one finger tight good enough. And when that Loctite sets up, it'll be perfect. <clears throat> Manual recommends that you Loctite these these uh, connections here, but we're going to put a touch of grease on that o-ring first, just so hopefully it's easier to remove next time. And we're not going to, again, we're not going to go all the way around. We're going to take some of that off. The Loctite does not seal it. It will just keep it from coming apart while you're playing. Next, we're going to lube up our 113, our piston o-ring. And we're also going to lube up the stem. Insert this back into the body, make sure it gets in the hole. There's definitely orders that make this easier. <laughs> just put a little lube right there. Again, just a touch of Loctite. Clean those threads. Put our fitting back on. These fittings I'm not so worried about because they have a great removal system and install system. And these are not AKA fittings, I don't believe. I think these are CCM fittings. Gauge hooked up here. Can you see that? I can't see that. Okay. That at 200. Watch it for a second. We're good to go. And uh, yep, 200 psi was just about flush, kind of like I said. So that's it. Uh, AKA Sidewinder rebuild. Thank you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And uh, if you found this video helpful at all please consider subscribing so you can watch more stuff like this
Thanks. See you in the next one.